Hello students, welcome back. In today's class, we will learn about what are the fric uh, frictions application and what is the basic friction which works in our entire system. So, let us start. Today's topic is static and dynamic friction where we will study about uh, rest or motion friction as well as what are the motions of in a body which uh, is kept in consideration while framing any friction problem or uh, to understand of friction third is the, is the wedge friction and we'll learn about what is wedge and screw jacks there are will be two types of screw jack one is a uh, general screw jack what we use and another is the differential screw jack which is being used in um, creating a distance from one body to another body so we'll, uh, we'll learn about these things so what is static friction static friction is a friction when the body is not moving it is in static and what is dynamic friction when the body is moving or there is a uh, motion change in motion then it is called a dynamic friction for uh, understanding the aspect it is harder or you need a bit more force to move a shopping trolley from rest to motion. But when it comes in motion, it you do need a less energy compared to uh, compared to the trolley to be in, in rest. To understand, let us see. This is a trolley which is in a dynamic friction or this is it is in a motion that means there will be friction as i have told you there will be rolling friction on this is wheels so <coughs> so the friction will be less that is termed as your dynamic friction next is the uh, static friction see in static friction the wheels is kept locked within the contact to the ground so hence what happened you need a, a bit max force compared to your trolley which is in motion that is we could conclude that static friction is maximum than dynamic friction so in entire uh, mechanical science or mechanical engineering we we'll learn about it as well as we come we will we'll compare that static friction or a friction where there is a rest a body in rest will have always a maximum friction compared to a uh, motion friction or dynamic friction dynamic friction is also termed as kinetic friction there are two factors why the factor is the interlocking since you can see they if this wheels are in contact with the surface that means there will be a contact area over here so what happens there is a there is an interlocking like in this man in this manner there's a interlocking as i have shown you in the previous class so the interlocking is uh, it prevents from any other movement any other motion that's why to to release that interlocking, to remove that interlocking, you need a maximum force compared to a trolley which is in motion. What is motion in of bodies? We know that if uh, uh, I have given the uh, definition of friction, but it, it is hidden over here. That is just you could read that what is we know what is friction is. So why I am telling that? If a body is in motion, what will happen? There will be a anti-force or friction working opposite to it, opposite to the direction of motion. So this is what happens. This is what about motion of bodies. As well as the body will impend some weight or the complete weight to the ground in respect to that a uh, normal will be will be generated as we can have seen in the previous lecture of uh, in the video 
as you can see over here so there is a two uh, this two type of friction as i have shown you if a body is in in rest or impending motion so what will happen this body will put its entire uh, weight in the ground hence there will be a normal which will be going upward opposite to the weight applied and as i have told you this is the force applied and this is a friction so this is uh, that's uh, the friction the force is not that capable to override the frictional force that's why the body is in motion and when the body that's why the body is in rest when the body is in motion what happens the frictional force is lesser or the or in other words i can say that the uh, applied force is maximum than the frictional force hence the body moves but the frictional force continues to be over here to entire time it will be in contact with any medium now point to be noted the frictional force can be uh, a between between solid and solid it can be between solid and uh, fluid like air aircraft is having a friction of air friction or it may be due it may be with your uh, liquid also fluid in terms i want to say the gas as well as liquid it can be with air it can be with the liquid like the swimmers they 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 apply force at the forward uh, they apply a force a backward force which in terms the uh, pushes their body forward so this is what they uh, there is some friction working there is a fluid friction working so everywhere frictions are working you can't deny it you have to take in consideration the thing is that when the friction is maximum and when the friction is minimum the friction is maximum in static and friction is minimum in motion so as you can see there is a uh, the curve goes the, the uh, curve is is down or is less compared to the static friction static region in the static region the curve is maximum but in kinetic or dynamic friction the friction is minimum that that's all next what is wedge as you can see i have uh, shown you one uh, a free body diagram i'll tell you what it is but you under you try to understand have you seen uh, or you remember have you seen these things earlier in your in your first module there is something called free body diagram so this may uh, makes explanatory how to uh, go for wedge or what how wedge works first wedge is nothing but this type of triangular device uh, which is used to lift or to support a, bo a other bodies to understand the perception what is that you could see in this manner a block is is, is lifted by the help of wedge hence what happens this area comes in contact with the block and the block is applying a force or a weight to this wedge that means on this one this is the side view and this is the side view and this is the isometric view so oh, uh, uh, i hope everyone has done drawings as well as uh, they are uh, well aware of the types of views okay or in other words it's a 3d view and these are the 2d view so what happens i am see i am looking from this side that's why i can see the triangle as you can see okay what happens uh, the block applies a force on the wedge that means over here and the force is transmitted from here to the ground since this block is not directly connected to the ground it is connected via this wedge this is done because the block as you can see it is it is, it have a as a cut section over here if the block is settled over here the block will fa will fall to support the block from falling down we use this wedge section okay now so what what is the main factor why i am uh, why i am curious of about because the block is always applying a force on this section hence a friction is generated in this way okay since the friction is generated there will be a change there will be 
a uh, some free body diagram as I, as we have learned in our uh, previous classes in in uh, in first module. So try to understand. A weight is applying over here. That's why since a weight is applying, there will be a normal. A normal is working. Now try to understand. This wedge will will have a tendency to move in this way. That is in negative way as you can see. So there will be a friction force will be working opposite to it. As well as this, this is a, in a inclined shape. So this will apply a force or a, uh, over here at a normal that is N2 and that will give another equivalent opposite normal N2. The block will have a tendency to slip over here, to slide over here as you can see over here. So there will be a frictional force, this one, okay. Hence, as well as you can see, the same thing goes over here in this side over here. That and uh, this is connected to this normal. Why there is no weight? Because we know that uh, a body in contact with another body will always have a normal. It's it is applicable only in terms of solid. Please remember, a body in contact with in a, a, another body will it'll provide normal. There may be weight or there may not be weight. You have to take in consideration. The weight will come towards negative y direction only. So you have to ke keep in mind that uh, uh, the solid body only have a normals. Though, though the, uh, in, in fluid like air and gas uh, liquid, you will not find any type of any type of normal reactions yeah there will be a normal reaction don't worry about it but there are some criteria but in uh, but in times terms of solid you will find a solid normal in ev every point in contact okay what is screw jack as you know screw jack as you have as you can see in the picture it is used to lift vehicles as you can see that we, we lift uh, we use a jack or it is also called, named as jack screw uh, uh, car jack or something it is used to replace car uh, 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 to lift a, a car or uh, to interchange the wheel or the or the tires so you use this one it is actually is a lifting device it is used it is it is it is it works on the terms of friction remember it works in terms of friction it is the main it is a basic application of friction now try to understand as you can see these are square threaded region what happens this comes in contact with this collar this is a collar so what is my concern there are a lot of things lot of things going over here so uh, we learn in the these things regard uh, in the in our higher semesters as about how to design a screw jack and everything it will be taught in your machine design so before that you have to learn the basics of machine design there are a lot of basics the uh, thing which you'll be learning in machine design is very easy because this works in a minimum logic as well as it works with a basic foundation that is friction and force applied for friction or applied force now let us go for the friction as you can see the screw jack is having this hole this is the hole where we are applying a force what happens in terms of the this this uh, this spindle or this shaft goes up this shaft goes up as you can see over here what will happen this is a this is a point to point friction this is uh, this is is a screw and this is the bolt or nut uh, this is the bolt and this is the nut what happens this thread comes in contact with the nut hence a friction generates and the friction is the basic things which hold the weight of 1 ton 10 ton 13 ton 35 tons that depends so it is holded by or it is supported by this a small friction okay try to remember this small frictions small area friction or the friction between this and this covering is men is the main thing which which makes this one to lift up and hold a body now what is differential 
this is the same concept like a screw jack what happens if you need a difference from one body to another body this is done with respect to the earth or with respect to some datum line but uh, here the datum line can be uh, anything but here that the datum line should be the minimum uh, position of the earth or the minimum position of the vehicle so this is uh, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, screw jack or differential screw jack where we do separations. If we need to separate two plates from one point to another, we could use this uh, this type of differential screw jack. What happens? We connect this point and we connect this point and we rotate this one in this way that this one goes up and this one goes comes down. This differential screw jack is used in aircraft like MD-80 for uh, lifting their uh, elevators on the back uh, of the aircraft. So this was the uh, simple concept by using differential screw jack. Oh, how, it is, how does it work? Let us make you understand. Now you could see the load or uh, the load is, is having a tendency to go up. So it will go up but there will be a frictional force which will bring it down. There will be a weight which will make it uh, to again the weight will try to uh, will be applied over down and uh, towards earth and there will be a reactive force so the complete thing can be summarized or can be understand in the precise way so what i can do if this is my base or this is my base the same thing only and this is my uh, bolt this is my bolt uh, so uh, what will happen if i apply a force and apply a force over here that means i am rotating over here if i consider this and this to be fixed and if i move over here what happens there is a friction between this and this that is the bolt and the nut okay if i delete this will be the nut and this will be the bolt and this will be the movement area as you can see so what happens the bolt will move the this Bo uh, nut will move or rotate and there will be a friction generated between this uh, nut and the bolt hence the friction will be the main and the critical point of contact and capacity holding or it will give the lift or it will it will hold the entire or it, it will separate the entire two sheets or two bodies from one point to another point which is necessary for you to uh, to make in perception try to understand if i have to separate the skins of aircraft for certain reason uh, for uh, there may be some problem so what i can do i could separate the skin of aircraft by applying a differential screw screw jack what will happen just look towards my uh, thing uh, so what will happen this will increase in this way so to the to extend this uh, or to to make it like a nozzle uh, diffuser what i'll do i the screw will get increased 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 and it will make your increase inc increment over here that means one will be fixed and one will get increased this will be like this i'll be putting the screw jack over here over here this is the this pen will be the screw jack and will, what will happen i'll i'll just rotate it and this will make this thing to to move like this or this will move like this this is nothing but a separation method uh, me mechanism between two objects which are attached in terms of magnetic force or in terms of any uh, other context like welding or any other mechanism that may be xyz that depends on what mechanism it is connected so to separation or force separation of two objects we use differential screw jack. Thank you. If you have any queries, just contact me. I'll help you out. Uh, my uh, co uh, co uh, my contact is given in the description. Thank you.